Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So today I have a collective Kringle candle haul from two separate orders. So from, I have a bunch of daylights here, um, which are like tea lights on steroids. And I have four uh, medium jars here from their medium buy one, get one. That was the other weekend. So they're pumping out the sales. Um, they do the daylights uh, on sale every daylight savings time. It's usually 12 for 24, um, so on and so on. So I have a bunch of a bunch here, and I have these. So the point of, and I'm going to do the daylights first. The point of the daylights to me, and I think a lot of you, um, especially when we don't have them local to smell. Now, I do have a local place near me to smell. It's about a 45 minute drive or so, and I just don't feel like driving there all the time just to smell them. And then go back online order because it's a small ma pa place and i feel like i should support them um if i'm going to be buying going there and buying something i don't want to be using them just to smell uh kringle candles here so uh and i have bought from them numerous times before but uh when things are on sale you like to have an arsenal of daylights so you know what to buy and that's kind of what i do um Doug over at Hole and Wax, he is like the master of it. Um, he has a whole arsenal of wax melts from Goose Creek uh, and daylights from Kringle. So he is all set over there. Uh, so I picked a couple up and four of them inspired me to make a purchase in a larger format. So we'll go over that. So let's pick them up randomly here. So here is one from Country Candle. It's Coffee Shop right there. And... Uh, it's nice. It's it's like a coffee shop. It's certainly brewed coffee. Not as bad as um, was it Paris Cafe from Bath and Body Works. That one smells so rancid to me. Um, this one actually smells a little smoother, creamier. This one it smells like fresh brewed coffee. So it could be a purchase for me in the future. Um, and that's with in the country line. And I believe this came over from the Kringle line and it was called something else. I don't know if it was espresso, espresso creme or something. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this came over from the Kringle line. They discontinued it in the Kringle line uh, and went with this in the country line. Uh, so let's go with this one. This is Oldie But Goody. It's no longer available uh, in candle format. It's Lighthouse Point. And... Uh, this is a 2016 pour. That's a 2018. So this is very smooth, clean, kind of cologne -y. If you are familiar with the Yankee Candles Drift Away and the blue wax, almost a dead-on dupe for this. Dead-on dupe. So you like those clean, sort of an aquatic tone going on here, but not too much. It's nice. It is. It is nice. And by the way, they call them daylights because they last about 12 hours. Uh, and they're normally $3 on sale. Uh, $3 normally, or rather. Uh, $3 normally. So, next up we have here. This is a new one for 2019 in the Country Candle line. It's called Somerset. Uh, I did show you this one in one of my previous hauls. This is my th third and fourth haul. Um, in a matter of like three weeks, crazy, of just Kringle and Country Candles. This one does nothing for me. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> very clean. I, I feel like it's heavy on the sandalwood. It's just not, doesn't do it for me. doesn't, um, clean and a little bit of ozone. That, you know, I have that ozone smell, a little clean there. We'll go with uh, Pistachio Gelato, another one new for 2018. Um, we have, yeah, this is Dead on Pistachio. This to me smells more like the Jello Pistachio pudding that you can make, the instant. Um, I used to make that with my grandma all the time. Um, I love it. It was uh, just mix it up real quick, get the powder, mix it up. I don't know if I get like an ice cream cold feeling from this. But I certainly do get the pistachio 
And I'm going to go with this pistachio um, pudding is what I'm going to go with. <clears throat> Authentic. Not one I would purchase and have in a large jar. Nonetheless, it's very nice, nice scent. And that's one thing that Kringle does that no one else can really do. They, they're authentic scents. Kringle has a lot of, a lot of authentic scents here. And here's another one that was new for 2018, lavender blueberry. So, all right, so this is uh, heavier on the blueberry. Not really a blueberry baking note, but certainly a Swedish tart blueberry. Very light on the lavender. If there's much lavender in here, it's very, very light. Interesting blend. <clears throat> Again, not really for me. But it's nice. If you like a lot, if you like blueberry scents, this is the way to go. They have an amazing blueberry. Here we go. Now, I already have this candle, uh, Christmas Stroll. Um, I think this is one of, I think this is probably their best Christmas scent to me. Uh, I know everybody loves Christmas, but this one just has, has that outdoor smoky feel through a forest. It's just, it's amazing. So I, I already have jars of this. Um, I bought this just so I can get my, I can sniff it throughout the year. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's over there somewhere. Um, we'll get it afterwards. Here's a new one. No, not not a new one, rather new to me. Cashmere and cocoa. Never had that one before. All right. S less sweet, less smoky marshmallow fireside from Bath and Body Works. <clears throat> Very nice. A lot more realistic. A lot more authentic um, than Bath and Body Works. So yeah, that is cashmere and cocoa. All right, next up we have a new for 2018 scent from Country Candle. That is Frosty Branches. This one surprised me, very much so. So I know it surprised a lot of you out there too. <clears throat> Frosty Branches, you would think a frozen winter, frozen walk through the forest. Uh, no, not so much. There's a heavy greenery note in here mixed with a little bit of fruit going on. A little bit of... I don't know if that's a... It's a grapefruit. It's a, it's a pomelo. It's some kind of citrus going on in there. But there's a green note. And I know some of you said green grass. Uh, and I can certainly see that in here. But it's not a straight green grass. So we'll see how this one, how this one does. But it's nice. <clears throat> That's frosty branches. <clears throat> Next up we have is a classic. Never had it before. I had never had any of these before. Besides Christmas Stroll. Cherry Blossom. This is nice. <clears throat> this is very, very nice. So, if you're a floral person, like myself, you can appreciate this. <clears throat> so, you do get that, like, true aroma. You get the bark aroma. You get the floral when the buds, you know, it's, uh, uh, if you're in D.C., they have the Japanese Cherry Blossom uh, Festival coming up. I think it's this week or just was. It's one of those. There's one also here in Philadelphia as well. Um, this is nice. <clears throat> so it does have that cherryness to it now. Homeworks had a vanilla cherry blossom last year. I didn't try that one because um, I thought it would be a little bit too sweet. But this is authentic. <clears throat> you have to like florals for this one. For sure, that's cherry blossom. Next up we have, this was a new for 2018. It's an interesting one. Fig and fur right there. So, I get some licorice star anise going on here. A little bit of that, that fur. It's an interesting, interesting combination. 
Interesting. Yeah, this is hard to describe. Yeah, there's fur and, and star anise. Um, this is an interesting one. Yeah, well, uh, gotta burn that one first, see what goes on there. Next up, we have Beachside. Now, I do not like Yankees um, Sun and Sands. Not a huge fan of it. This one's completely different. And I, I do like it. It's got that orange blossom note going on here. Where it's not 100% copper tone suntan lotion like Sun and Sand is. It's toned down a little bit. I almost get a little rubber feel from this. That's weird. There's a boardwalk note going on here. You know what I'm getting? Like if you're walking down the boardwalk, you know, and they have all like the latex balloons or something like that you pop. Interesting. Interesting up for in up for interpretation. Um for sure. So that is beachside there. And we have a new one here. 2019 over the rainbow. I also talked about this one before. So, <laughs> if you liked Sweet Spring Melon from Homeworks last year, you're going to like this. To me, Sweet Spring Melon was very sweet, very Jolly Rancher like, very, I don't want to say fake, but it just didn't. This is more authentic to me. Um, you have the melons in there, you have the juices, you have the rind note going on there. It's just toned down, it's more mature, like I said before. It's just an upgrade, I think, over a sweet spring melon. <clears throat> so that is over the rainbow. Now the only thing I have to say is the, the rain the rainbow. The label, uh, you know, imagine if they called it like watermelon patch or something along those lines. There's a bunch of different melons in their can of watermelon. Honeydew. Imagine if they called it like the melon patch, right? And they had pictures of all different kinds of vines growing. That I think would be a lot more appropriate than over the rainbow. Over the rainbow would be a great name for like a St. Patrick's Day candle, like a greenish grass candle, um, or like a clover candle. I could see that. Next up we have here, apple cider donut. I go there. Everybody loves this one. And yeah. It's, it's authentic. So here in Pennsylvania, a lot of farms in the fall, a lot of apple cider donuts, homemade. This is it to a T. You get that apple dough, you get that powdered sugar, uh, not powdered sugar, but you get the, the cinnamon sugar on top there. <clears throat> yeah, this is, <clears throat> this is very, very good. Oh, very, very authentic. <clears throat> so there we go, we have apple cider donut there next we have another one this was uh, new for 2018 autumn amber this one was a surprise to me um because i don't normally like apple scents you know like autumn woods i don't like autumn from bath and body works leaves i don't like um <clears throat> this one's different you know there's uh there's apple in here, certainly, but it's not like, I don't know, it's, it's mixed differently than, than, uh, than the other ones are. Maybe it's because it's toned down, it's not so high up in the mix there. But it is an apple scent, no doubt. A fall apple scent, not like a sweet, juicy apple scent. A fall apple scent. <clears throat> and, the, you know... Autumn pine cone from Homeworks, very reminiscent of this. Or this is very reminiscent of Autumn pine cone, which I happen to really like. <clears throat> yeah, so that's interesting. We'll have to we'll have to see on that one there. Uh, maybe a little bit of a uh, Yankee Candle uh, autumn leaves in there to bring up the little brightness a little bit. That's very orange heavy candle. Next we have Pine and Pomelo from Country Candle there. This is, this is interesting. <laughs> so this is straight up like 
like bam, pine in your face. Uh, this could be a Christmas candle, really. I don't know if they market it as a Christmas candle. I don't think they do. But you do have that pomelo grapefruitness going on there, but that pine is unmistakable right there in your face. <clears throat> that might be a little, little too heavy for me, a little bit too pure of a pine scent. I don't want to say it's Mr. Clean Pine, but it is a pure, pure pine scent there. And last one here, Country Lavender from Country Candle. This one's awesome. This is legit um, lavender still on the plant. Not dry, not astringent, not sharp, not any of those. <clears throat> this is lavender on the, the plant still on. I have a lavender plant next to my pond. So I get it. <clears throat> this one, this one is really nice. And I think it's the same thing as French lavender in the Kringle line. So this has a partner in the Kringle line. Um, Cherry Blossom has a partner in the Kringle line. And I think that is it for a crossover. Some of them do crossover. But from there on. So I got four medium jars here. Uh, the buy one, get one sale. So the first one up here, and these are all from these Kringle uh, Daylight. So I picked up Beachside. I liked it too much. Um, and they have the notes on the top here. So uh, Ocean Water, Orange Blossom, Marine Flower, White Coral Island, Musk. Now what's interesting to note is that they don't really smell the same on cold at least. This one's like wow like potent so i don't know how they pour the daylights <clears throat> but the day that one does smell a little different than this so it's going to be interesting to see how this one goes on burn this will be a summer burn for me um for sure and these are 14.5 ounces with a burn time up to about 75 hours and they retail for 25 bucks and then i had to do it apple cider donut you guys know I'm not huge on bakery, but this one was just too damn authentic. Um, apple spice, cinnamon, apple cider, sugar crystals, grimoire, maple. This one rocks. This one does smell identical to the um, daylight. And I have to say it probably smells a little bit more authentic than the daylight. So, that's that. And then the third one surprised me, but autumn amber. Um... This one does smell like the daylight as well. So, notes on this. Uh, apple blossom, floral, cedarwood, and pine. I like it. We'll see how it goes. So, that is that. And, this one also shocked me. But, if I had to do scent of the spring, if there were a scent from all the candle companies that I think is the best for the most authentic scent... Um, it would have to be this one, and that is, of course, Over the Rainbow. I think it's good, it, you know, it would win a lot of, of awards, um, this one there. It's just, there's just something to it. It's just so crisp and clean, and, you know, I, I don't know, but Honeydew, Sea Salt, Ozone, Candle, Watermelon, Marine. Um, this one has it all. Love this candle, so. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. That's what I have for you. I know it's a little bit long, but... A lot of content. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see y'all real soon. Have a good one.